protect me with consent. Why, of course, darling. You have been summoned, as now you are a ghost. The bad crack hole is in need of a host. XO, XO. Hmm. But I don't know whether I should take my face off or put my face on. But I am in, darling. host a show here tonight? <laughs> it's been coming up. Yeah, right here, right? Yeah. This one, and then this one. Oh, so oh, so oh, take it easy, you guy. It's all right. Just have to do this <laughs> You're watching it. Hey. hey! What? Even I think six times in a week is overkill. But that's less than... That's less than the number of days in the week. It's only Wednesday. Hmm. You know, I I've been sensing a little bit of hostility since I've been staying here. Oh, yes, and remind me, why have you been staying here? Come on, Grim. The cost of dying is killing people these days. What did you want us to do? Go take him back to the graveyard and bury him after the show? That would be fine. Dude, that's harsh. Like, I know you're in the business of taking souls, but... Is that what this is all about? One tiny, little, itty, bitty soul? Not just any soul. This was my unicorn. My jackalope. My namesake for Saint's sake. The only death caused by marijuana. Ha! Huh. I'd hardly call choking on a bite of a suspiciously overpriced chili dog because you fell asleep while eating it a death caused by marijuana. On the contrary. Had he been in his right mind and not so incredibly stoned, he would have never paid such a suspicious amount for a chili dog, nor would he have fallen asleep eating it. Oh, so, it's, so, it's, so it's all in the fun print then? Nah, it's kind of like, well, you ever hear about those people that get into a car accident? That's blatantly their fault, but the insurance company rules in their favor, on some stupid technicality? Yeah, well, who the hell is going to argue against reaping those benefits? So, as above, so below, corruption's everywhere you go. Oh, uh, yeah. Tonight on Where in the Hell Are They Now, the infamous Dairy Terror Pennywise. Hey, 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 stop! 30 years ago, lurking around like a group of the sewers, this once fear-inducing clown is nowhere to be found. Yeah, Join us for this exclusive is. deep dive into the depraved dreams of the Hey, watch it! Do you like alliteration? I sure do. And later, we'll be live. My pie! Will we spot a famous fiendish face or two? Tune in and find out, live at 8, right after exercising with Reagan. Uh, maybe we should go keep that idiot out of trouble. Randy, are you cool hanging out here for a little uh, bit? Yeah, do you have any, like, bud I could? Oh, oh man, yeah. I'm out till I get paid, but I'm sure Grim's got some you can have, oh, right, Grim? Oh, 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 oh. Yes. Yes, I do. Perhaps I have been a little hostile, but I should have been hospitable. Oh, wow. Thanks, darling. I totally owe you one. Indeed.
You still live here, buddy? No. Oh, hey. It's you. Hey. You finally decided to make an honest living for yourself? <laughs> honest living my ass? Check it out. Wise man say forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for PC straight up jack, am I right? <laughs> Hey man, you see my pipe? No. I think I think it's probably in your couch cushions. Can I just? No, I, I don't. No, man, I've got company over. Here. Can you? No, dude. Right now, it's not a good time. Man. You should have called. Come on, leave me alone. No, I won't get out of here. No. Hey, come on. No. Ah, oh, come on. Hey guys. Ah. Come on in, man. We got some pizza. What the hell? We got some video games. Got some bud. What else we got in here, man? Uh, come on. I gotta, I'm the smallest one. I gotta fit. Come on. What the hell was that? Ah, you brought your greasy friends, too. You better not be planning on jamming here. Shots as we could fit into the duration of our new tracks that maybe, just maybe, 
we could all enjoy some fun and spooky time together again, you know, like we used to back in the day. <laughs> I know you think we're a bunch of losers, fiscal underachievers by choice. If you just drop all that raunchiness and try to be more marketable, you could be a big star like me. Yeah, well, guess what? We like who we are. You know, we like being raunchy. Makes people laugh, you know? Remember when that was the only thing that mattered to guys like us? Making people laugh. Made us feel like we had purpose. Made us feel good. And if all that fame and fortune turns you so cold that you loathe your own family, your old friends from the old hood, you can keep it, cuz. Sure, we'll, we'll piss off out of your life if that's what you really want. But before we go, I just want to tell you something. Something I've always admired about you. What's that? You sure got bizarre taste in toppings. Are you guys crack horror? Yes, we are. OMG, I'm like such a fan. Can you sign my t t t tape? Yeah, yeah, girl. So like, how do you guys know each other? He's, He's my, my cousin. cousin. Oh my God, my girlfriends are never gonna believe I actually got groped by penisless the gesture. It's, it's penniless. And I got to party with Syringerella and like blaze with a slim creeper. Hey, do you guys want to be on my snap bat? Hey creepers, here's something for your peepers. So I'm like at this rando's house right now and like crack horror totally just showed up out of nowhere. Say hi to my followers, guys. Oh, we gotta go. Oh, are, are you guys like headlining tonight? Nah, no one's playing shows right now. There's a pestilence upon this land still. Actually, we were on our way over to Carnival. Oh my god, I haven't been to Carnival in like forever. But you know what would like really make my night? I'm just dying for a hot. Yeah? Sticky. Uh, uh huh? Dripping. Oh, mama! Candy apple. Oh, uh, Pennykins, be a tear and fetch me one, would you? Uh. <laughs> I'll see what I can do, mistress. And make sure it's vegan, thanks. Uh, 
All right, guys, I gotta make a stop on the way. Can you at least get me there while the night's still young? Sure thing, pannykins. Shut up, penisless. Oh, you're freaking foul. What did you eat? <laughs> I don't always drink. In fact, I never drink. I quit drinking years ago. Really? But when I did drink, the only thing I would drink was needles from the dark side. And my this is what you saw. This, 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 this right here. Scare brew. It's a bitchin' brew. You're not even good at selling out. I don't think it's you well. We now return to Attack of the Colossal Raccoons. Look! What is that? I'm teasing, right? There's more of them! Turn over here! Watch those rocks! Get him! Get him! Posty souls this week? No. Why? Cause thanks you have a text mail to the house. Hmm. Hey, uh, Greg. What do you got there, Sabah? Nitrous of the Living Dead? Whoa, whoa. None of your business, clown. Oh. <laughs> More like mail order bride of Frankenstein. <laughs> Don't you mean Frankenstein? Oh, sir, Grim. In your little alternate purgatory where, let me guess, that don't exist? <laughs> <laughs> nice get up. Oh, shut up. You got a quicker way to make some dough? Oh. <laughs> hey, speaking of which, we ever got paid for that ad? I don't know. But I do know that Kraft Single Slices promotes healthy bones and teeth. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? Because I get 25 cents every time I do. Huh. Sell out. Good. Excuse me. What's your name? Who's asking? We're with the Afterlife Authority. We're currently investigating the whereabouts of a petty thief. One Miss Needle Jinx. You would not have to know whereabouts of uh, one such individual, would you? <laughs> no, never heard of him. Cool name, though. Cool name, indeed. And your name? <laughs> Me, I'm Wednesday. Welfare Wednesday. Da -da -da -da. <laughs> my name's Fabulous Freddy K, and welcome to my first dead talk, bitch. <laughs> now, if you're watching this today, it's because your life is a complete and utter nightmare. But have no fear. Because I, the one, the only, fabulous Freddy K, is here to show you how to make your dreams a reality. That's it, that's it. I want my dreams to become a reality, and if there's one man who can do it, it's you, Freddy, darling. I can't wait to see what you can do for this life that is in shambles. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to sleep, and you have to count yourself to sleep. But the way you do that is you go, one, two, Freddy's coming. Oh. 
I broke an ass. <laughs> Old poppycock. <laughs> Speak it to my ear. Oh, yes, yes, I'm getting something now. Call now and speak to the one and only Esmeralda, and your future will be revealed. Dial 1 800 Fortune for a Quarter. Fortune for a what? I said fortune for a quarter. Jeez. Must be 18 years or older. Long distance charges may apply. Satisfactory futures not guaranteed. Additional charges apply to Orange Auras. Esmeralda provides leaf free tea leaf readings only. Give me a quarter and I'll tell you your fortune. Fortune for a quarter. I love quarters. You have a quarter. Try this. It didn't work. What didn't work? Look at her! She's coma ghost! But not dead. I knew that schmuck couldn't hold up his end of a casket. What the hell are you talking about, Grim? Do you have something to do with this? This, uh, uh, what the hell is this? Yeah, and what schmuck? Well, I suppose I could tell you. It was a dog. It's stormy night. Well, I don't know how else to describe it. Ever seen a bright and stormy night? I have, and I will never drop acid again. <laughs> uh, anyway... So I show up at this guy's place. Wake up! You're dead. What? 
No, this can't be. I was so close. It was almost complete. What are you blathering on about? My invention. My latest miraculous invention. <laughs> A miracle of science, he says. And let me guess, you also watch the atheist experience religiously. Let's go. No, please. Hear me out first. He explained how he had created a device that could rid the world of its plague and any future mutations would eventually taper off and cease to exist. He begged and pleaded for me to grant him a second chance so he could complete the project, receive his accolades, and have the words Nobel Laureate inscribed on his tombstone. Realizing what his true motives were, it became clear to me that both of us shared a similar obsession with winning the ultimate trophy in our respective fields, and we would both resort to corruption without a second toke in order to obtain it. So I made him an offer. I... I suppose you could make anything into a bomb if you really wanted to. There have been many innovative approaches and great strides in the application of this scientific phenomenon, indeed. But the intended purpose of my device is not to help people get high. It's to help people... Don't bullshit me, Wolfenstein. It's Wolfenstein. Whatever. You and I both know the intended purpose of your device is to bring you fame, fortune, legendary status, a lasting legacy, and a nice shiny trophy for your mantelpiece. It's nothing to be ashamed of. I myself have similar aspirations. I'm making an offer from which both of us may benefit. So what do you say, Professor? Well... It definitely sounds like a lucrative offer, but... a bomb? Wolfie, you're not thinking fourth dimensionally. Look, this plague too shall pass just like every other. You and your invention will be forgotten and become a nostalgic slash tag at best. In a hundred years or so, when the next big crisis hits, your name may be found perhaps buried deep in some dusty old internet article, but your device will go the way of the steam engine, rotting away in some medical museum. But, create the world's first THC particle accelerator, and your invention will be used and celebrated every year on the 20th of April like clockwork. Your name will be echoed for eternity, and you shall take your place in the pantheon of legends. You see, Professor, plagues come and go from time to time, but humans shall get high till the end of time. I see. It is certainly a plausible hypothesis. Not the way I'd imagined my stardom, but not the worst way, I guess. So, you're going to make me famous for inventing a marijuana mass murder machine? To pulverize the pothead population? No, I only need one soul for my mantelpiece, and then the device is all yours to reap the benefits. Now, I'll just need your signature right here. A legally binding contract? No, you idiot. The necessary paperwork to declare this a false positive. I did come here on official business, remember? No, oh, right. <laughs> Excellent. Listen, I can retrofit my device with all the necessary functions to achieve your goal with the exception of two major problems beyond my available resources. First, there is no known strain of unadulterated cannabis with the level of potency needed to cause death, and second, even if there were such a strain, we would need some poor soul to sacrifice. You just work on the machine. I'll take care of the green. And the guinea pig? Don't worry, Professor. 
I'll choose one of the pseudoscientific variety, just for you. As you know, I dabble in multiculture, and this year I've been working on a mutant strain that still falls within the legal definition of unadulterated. Check this shit out. You do realize the Ziggs Blazon particle is just a theory, right? And isn't it a shame that the first and only time it will ever pop into existence will be to win my trophy and you'll never get any credit for its discovery? To witness such a thing even... Oh well. So, to whom have you granted that honor then? <laughs> A local seer, and I can't wait to see her face when she predicts her near future. <laughs> well, that explains her rather odd request for the burner design. Anyway, it's all packed and ready to be shipped, Grim. Send it to this address. I found it in a phone booth. Whoa! Where did you find... a phone booth? Uh... Just send it there tonight, and don't forget to attach the heart-shaped card. I already attached the card, from Pennywise. Who is Pennywise, anyway? Nobody. Just make sure you get a tracking number and it gets there on time. You better not disappoint me, Professor. I have high expectations. What do we have here? A strange specimen. Get your sticking paws off of you damn dirty dog! Oh, hate that some shit. You do tricks, say you boo Hey, puppy want a milk bone? Just please don't hump my leg. Go for a walk to the graveyard where you can roll over and play dead? How dare you speak like that to me, a mind of the highest pedigree. A genius amongst my breed and soon to be celebrity. Was well, you nothing more than a specimen, bred only for this experiment? I'll pluck me off a small sample and then off with your head! Hey, 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 Wolfie, baby, uh, I didn't mean to offend. Maybe we got off on the wrong call. We could start again. Okay, okay, just hear me out. Because I can offer you a better deal than old Grim without a doubt. What the hell are you talking about? Wolfie, baby, can't you see? Your odds would be much better if you was twisting up with me. Don't trust his knickknacks and paddywhacks because he threw you an extra bone. Yeah, I'm the new bird on the stock. <laughs> I do declare, you'll get to see my potency as soon as we get there. Excuse me, when we get where? The tournament, the main event, and the champ is sitting right here. Yeah, I got the bud and guts to win that big old leafy cup. We got the brains, that green machine, we gon' tag team our way to the top. Correct me if I'm wrong, but are you making the suggestion that I double cross the being who granted me this resurrection by like smuggling you across the line along with my invention? No. But you'll never find us, despite the fact that you'll attract that kind of attention. And what the hell, I might as well take credit for your pungent smell, and I suppose you'll need a name. I dub you the wolf and strain. Hey, I can dig it, bro, like take a dig and grave. Once them judges get a taste, we'll have them suckers in a daze. To think I thought a dude like you was greener than Echo Plasma. Think a character such as yourself couldn't recognize sarcasm. What? The scheme is utterly preposterous. That bean will always have it out for us. Eventually, he'll catch up with us and then fall with our heads. Oh, please. Look, we 
we all know Grim's a bonehead, but you think he'd risk his job over some jive talking Paul Glad and a bong developing dog? He don't sign them papers, so when he hands them to his boss, a shame of having to explain himself would be the greater loss. But the two of us, opportunity knocks, and you know what they say, bro. As above, so below. Corruption's everywhere, everywhere you go. go. Yes, yes, I know. But how do I know you're not a plant? Dead. What called you a tent? That's totally not what I meant. A plant to spy a setup, you fool. Have you ever set foot in a school? I'm from the hood, I know the rules. Do I look like a pigeon on a two-legged stool? Wake up, sucker. We're thieves and we're bad guys. That's exactly what we are. We gotta find our own way. So what do you say? I'd like some time to envision this risky decision, if I may. Well, clock is ticking, and this competition is less than a month away. You worry about Grim, we can take care of him with a steady monthly check. Don't change for us, but more than enough to cover his monthly rent. Besides, he got outstanding vibes. That suck ain't allowed to cross the line. I know he ain't down with doing time, so you and I gonna be just fine. Such evidence suggests that theories may be incorrect. For indeed, old dogs can learn new tricks, even stubborn ones like myself. And I must commend your master plan and apologize for all my sins. If there existed a course on conspiracy, you'd definitely be head of the class. Hey, thanks. So you win? Let's cut that sucker's grass. Uh, we got this, Wolfie, baby. We got this by the ass. Pretty much it. Wait a second. You're telling me you went Rube Goldberg level 10 just to play a prank on my cousin? Pretty funny, actually, why am I doing that? So let me get this straight. You teamed up with a would-be scientist whose soul you were supposed to take to grow a mutant strain of weed and create a freaking fortune-telling Frankenbong under the assumption that the combined strength of them both would be impossible for any mere mortal to withstand? That's basically it. Then why didn't you just say that? Because it doesn't tell fortunes. Huh? Hey! this? Hey, what the hell? This is how she's telling fortunes? What a hack! No, it's legit. What do you mean, it's legit? She's a hack. Yeah, but this cartridge isn't. Come on, man, that's some homebrew shit. It does the seal of quality. Oh, come on. No shit. Well, shall we? Wait just a moment. Before we go playing with power beyond our control, there's something you should know about this one. I'm still curious, though. I'm game if you are. Uh, well, here, you want to ask about your pipe, dude? You ask. Don't lie about your age. How the hell is this thing gonna know? It's gonna know. It's not gonna answer it proper.
Oh, that sucked. Yeah, nobody should ever play this game. Hey, guys. You ever, like, search your whole house for your sunglasses, but they're, like, on your head the whole time? What? What is she talking about? Or, like, when you're on... You're looking for the phone while talking on the phone. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Not only are you a half, but now you're high. God, let's get out of here, guys. I'll never find my damn pipe. Props to Poppy, eh? Two by theft. Look at the camera, for it is there. Shit! Seven times around go the three of you. Only you will be just in truth. Don't! <laughs> this game is a piece of diarrhea dog shit. All you do is move a cursor around a bunch of letters and a bunch of stupid horoscopes and present themselves plugging letters in, getting ridiculous answers. I don't give a shit about any of us, neither do you. Some people even say it's killed people. <laughs> you could have every game in the NES library, except this one, and every hardcore collector would still say you had a full NES collection. I'd rather shove a Ouija board straight up my ass. I don't want to play this game, you don't want to play it, nobody wants it, it's useless in your collection, throw it in the garbage, nobody wants shit. He's the afterlife video game. People actually believe this stuff. Previously possessed possessions, you don't know who previously possessed them. Uh, oh, hey. Where have you been all my life? Well, what'd she say? She's a hack, she's high, and she's hungry. Seriously, Whoa. man. That was my last slice. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a bust, eh? Well, we're here. Might as well check it out, right? Let's go play Zombie Strike Force. Oh, yeah. Fine. Game, boy, but the game is done now. 
you lose. It seems there's some creep ogling you. Huh? Ugh, yeah, that's my ex, Jibadiah. His grandpa's famous for playing with balls or something. It looks like it's genetic. Oh, really? I'll show him a thing or two while playing with balls. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Saturday Night Main Event! And boy, do we have a great show tonight. Coming to you live from Carnival. We're about to make your dream match a reality because you won't believe who's here tonight. That's right, me, Janine. Stepping out of retirement, the infamous Dairy Terror Pennywise will be squaring off against the reigning underworld heavyweight champion, the tall man himself. Shibadiah Morningwood in a legend versus legend match for the title. I'm not sure Pennywise has the kind of balls as the Lord of the Dead, McMayhem. It's been 27 years since his last match, and Jib's been burying his opponents the entire time. Well, Janine, Pennywise has always been a fierce competitor, even after a lengthy hiatus. And I heard a rumor tonight that he was interrupted while on a date with an evil diva, so I'm sure his balls are blue enough to blast through anything that comes his way. Gross. Anyway, let's get straight to the action. Pennywise wasting no time stepping up to Jim and I and getting right in the tall man's face. These two men do not like each other. Well, they've had an ongoing feud for about three minutes and it looks like the cauldron is about to boil over. Pennywise with the first strike and these two titans are blast! Pennywise with a takedown, but Jibadiah quickly reverses it. And the crowd is not pleased with the tall man's funeral parlor tricks tonight. Hello, ball busters. But wait, Pennywise has just pulled Jibadiah into the sewer grate! Yeah, they call his move the sewer grate, but I don't know what's so great about it. A body slam, and he's going for the pin! It's all over! Pennywise, the new Underworld Heavyweight Champion! Is it? It is! The legendary Pennywise! I'll be rogue! You recognize me? Oh yes! Who could forget? The terror! The torment! <laughs> well, I'm glad to know there's still people out there with a decent head for horror. Well, they don't make them like they used to. No, not all like how they used to. Clowns back in the day, he could instill fear into the hearts of little children. This new guy, he's all flash and gore. Where the hell's the humor? I used to give the humor. If there's a clown out there you ought to fear, it's that patty slanging redhead. Well, we all know his name, but don't say it out loud. Yeah, it costs too much. Yeah, get home, my friends. Whoa. Is it like supposed to do that? Cool. are acting like I'm crazy. Like you've never looked into the whole bats aren't real thing? Like there's some plausible theories out there. Really? Are you serious? What? I'm open to a good argument. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Tin foil crown and scepter over here. No kidding. Huh? Whoa, hey! We gotta get back to the house. Indeed. Ugh. What? It's not my pipe. Go on. Ah. Come on. 
I don't want to know what's going on back there. <laughs> speed run. You know, you might get a little glory for a month or two, but eventually someone's going to see where you slice together your footage. And besides, everybody Everyone knows, knows you can't can OD on weed! <laughs> You're under arrest for two counts of petty theft and one count of identity fraud. That's it. One by fraud, two by theft. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, that, that's it. That's totally it. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Since the pioneer of the whole stealing cat got a car is crazy. Shut up, you darkin' darn dickhead. Uh, what was that about cats? Uh, nothing. It's a one by fraud, two by theft. That's all. Mm -hmm. Give me the clown prosecutor. self-isolation thing by now. Yeah. Hey, I smuggled something in for you. Oh yeah, what's that? A nice juicy piece of incriminating evidence? No! Ah. A letter! Just arrived at the house this morning. Figured it was the least I could do for you considering I kinda got you into this mess. Kinda? Well, how about you do me one more favor then? What? Open it for me. Oh, <laughs> right. 
uncomfortable piece of paper up my ass for two hours and you just walk in here with that thing? I didn't think they were that on the tape. Well, what is it? Yeah, who's it from? Shut up! Hey there, sweetie. It's me, your old man. Yeah, I know, I know. It's been a long time since we talked and, uh... I haven't exactly been there for you over the years, but I'm hoping that maybe I can make it up to you now. See, all of Lydia's little five-finger discounts finally caught up with her last year. Long story short, she ended up on house arrest at my place, and I guess this comet last stuff is the real deal, because here I am, six months later, alive and kicking in the land of the living. Crazy, I know. Anyway, I wanted to write you and let you know I'm real proud of you for following in your old man's footsteps. You've developed quite a reputation for yourself, kiddo. Now, I got pretty successful myself back in the good old days, but see, I was smart enough to put aside a little nest egg for hard times. But seeing as dead dollars are no good to me here, and you're on a bit of hot water yourself right now, I'm posting bail for you, kiddo. Don't say I never did anything for you. Yours, Ghoulie, Beetlejuice. P.S. Can you stop calling me an undead, deadbeat dad? I might be a deadbeat, but times have changed, okay? Oh, I'm free! I adore her, and when she dances, oh brother, she's a hurricane and all right to win. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Shake, 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 Sonora. Shake your body line. Shake, shake, shake. Tango Walter, Lumba, Sinora's dance has no title. Hail from the dark side. And my personal favorite, as always. Hey, what the hell? I scared you. You don't make Oh, God. Sensation, the reason for aviation. And fellas, you got to watch it. When she wind up, she bottom, she go like a rock. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Okay, I believe you. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Those skirts a little higher. Jump, Jump in the line, rock your body in time. What the Jiminy? Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Cool name indeed. And your name? Fuck! Listen you well to my words. One by throb, two by fat. One by throb. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. Jump in the line, rock your body in time. 
Take it all the time.